over the last two years or so, there's been a huge shift in the way I approach physics questions. During my PhD, I was really interested in basically deriving thermodynamics or statistical mechanics um, just from quantum mechanics, from the base laws of the universe. I wanted to start from the least amount of assumptions as I could make, a minimal set of assumptions, and be able to arrive at very powerful and very broad and very generic statements about physics, sort of trying to arrive at universal statements. But in a way, trying to be so broad has a lot of weakness. If you try to make as few assumptions um, as possible about the physics that you're describing, your the statements that you're actually allowed to make can end up being also very weak. So starting from very generic can lead to very weak statements, especially when you're trying to make very broad statements and then look if they apply to specific types of physical systems. So you can think of things like your results will never be able to tell um, different regimes of physics apart. For example, uh, things like integrable versus non-integrable models or things like ergodic systems versus localized systems. Instead, for the last two years, I've gone through this process of being like, what you should really do is you should be trying to build minimal models for the types of physics that you're interested in, uh, and you should also be surveying what types of physics are actually possible. So instead of trying to go from general uh, to specific, you try to go from specific um, to general. So, so this approach um, does have its critics, of course, because what can end up happening is you can be is you can end up defining what's called fine-tuned behavior and fine-tuned behavior is basically uh, physics that you can you can construct and you can study but it's not broadly findable in physical systems there's something about the physics that you're describing that can be too special in some sense but in principle that doesn't have to be true and, and in most cases um, it's not true. Finding these fine-tuned um, solutions, these minimal models, end up allowing you to make much broader, more general statements about very specific physics that you care about.